Yo, what's poppin' people? It's Dante. In today's video, we're gonna be practicing some street photography here in Philadelphia, once again using my Fujifilm 18mm f2 lens. I will be bringing you guys along with me in today's video using my GoPro here strapped to my chest, and I will be speaking live at the scene, giving you my thoughts about my process and the way that I see the world. So it's a more intimate and raw and uncut sort of video. Stay tuned if you enjoy this kind of content because we are going to go out there and hit the streets in just a moment. <laughs> Everybody, we got the X-Pro3 with the 18 F2, GoPro, everything's looking good. Let's go ahead and show you guys the streets. Making our way down Walnut Street here. Pretty empty, but let's go. So right now I'm standing on the corner across from City Hall and I'm observing this striking light in front of me. I have the sun to my back just facing this way. And I'm observing this beautiful backdrop casted from City Hall that's making a beautiful black background because of the stark light and the strong shadow. I'm now playing and using the fishing technique to wait for a subject to enter my frame and fill the foreground in the light. I now see a subject approaching with the TV. I'm gonna now focus. trying to find a way to compose something interesting here. It's a little bit challenging, but there's definitely a possibility for a photograph and I'm here at the scene to explain to you all exactly how I'm observing the light and the area here around me. here on the streets of Philadelphia. I'm on Walnut Street. We're gonna get started here in this raw and uncut sort of video. I'd love it to be, you know, as minimal cuts as possible. I'd love to really just showcase this walk in its entirety um, and try to give you some insight into the way that I think about life and the world around me as I am photographing. As street photography is very much a solo Endeavor, this is something that I recommend you practice primarily alone, and it's something that I think most people practice alone. Um, you're, you're very much in your own head and in your own world when you're out here. And today, I'm gonna try to lay that out in this raw, uncut format. settings and the sort of technical aspect of street photography to me isn't so much in the forefront. I, I want this tool to be as least complicated as possible. I don't want to be diving into my LCD screen and focusing and doing all sorts of things so I have my camera set up in a way that's fully manual operating the shutter ISO and aperture just like so very simply. And that's it. I point and shoot in autofocus. I have it set to single point autofocus, as you can see here. With this older lens, I hear it's a lot better in this mode, as it's not as fast for the continuous autofocus. So that's how I have it set up today. And as you can see, it's not the best condition on this street. It's rather cloudy, so I'm 
boosting my ISO, of course, to 1600, and I like to just set it and forget it. I don't want to sit around and mess with my settings all day. It's not really uh, something I'm interested in as a street photographer. You want to just be ready to go in the moment before the people walk into your frame because, well, if you're fiddling with the camera, then you might miss. Maybe in some of my past videos you would have seen me running around the city looking for interesting backgrounds and light and I could find interesting people and compositions and you know ways to frame life in in this way of chasing the light however more recently especially using this 18 millimeter lens here I'm opening myself up to the possibility of new ways of seeing as you can see I'm making my way down the street rather swiftly. I'm not stopping and camping at any scenes today unless we really find something worthwhile. I'm not interested in the fishing technique today. I'm interested in hunting. So in terms of technique and practice, that is how we will be operating on the street today. I'm now arriving at Broad Street, really popular place in town where we have many people and a beautiful intersection of life here. Always interesting characters out here on the streets. I'm approaching 13th and Market Street. I oftentimes make my way down Market Street in these POV videos. So welcome back. I'm sure you're familiar with this location by now if you've been watching. I am really interested in the idea of going back to the same place over and over again. I think it just gives you better practice. You can learn the landscape, you can learn the lay of the land, and dig a little bit deeper with your street photography by exploring the same location time and time again. I think it's a really valuable um, part of my process. Probably some good scenes down here. I have a good feeling. I, feel, I find that Market Street always delivers. There's always lots of life down here. And well, I'm always open to that possibility. So I'm not trying to hide anything with these videos. Everything is 100% candid. We're making street photos. People might not like it. Everyone's gonna have their own reaction. People aren't so receptive sometimes, but you just sort of Keep going. How are you doing, sir? Good to see you again, bro. Out here just practicing my street photography once again. I did not forget about your photograph. I did make those photos. I'm just very slow at editing. <laughs> I love to stay out on the streets, you know what I mean? I'm never really at home make, you know, making the work come into real life. I gotta start printing it. <laughs> One day I'll come down with a print, you know what I mean? I got thousands of pictures of my dog. I, I need right, and it's the same thing with the files I have on my computer. I'm so nervous that one day, God forbid, they're gonna disappear. <laughs> you know? I'm just looking at how these guys like made themselves like so symmetric too. <laughs> it's beautiful, really. Yeah, they're both just at your legs, side by side, perfect sy symmetry. It is true. Right there, I hesitated, I went to photograph, but I, I didn't. There I did. Um, <laughs> having fun, you guys. I think it's a lot of fun to practice street photography and keep it lighthearted and remain open and be honest with what you are doing. So as you can see in the background, we are approaching City Hall. It's just in front of me. My body is telling me to consume some coffee right now. I'm also parched and would like some water, so I think it's time to stop and go to the La Colombe that's just outside 
of City Hall. I'll make my way through the middle and then to the coffee shop to take a little break as I am ready for some water. So today's music artist of choice is Bones. I'm listening to his most recent album, Forbidden Image, right now. He is a underground musician who makes really, really cool hip-hop music. I find him to be one of my favorite musicians of all time. He is really, really cool because all of his songs sound different and he doesn't really adhere to a genre. He likes to experiment a lot with his music and push the boundaries. He's against the mainstream, and honestly, I kind of fuck with that. He's a really dope artist. Definitely someone to check out. If you're into rap music, check out Bones. I like taking you photos. Take a photo of me and then I'll, I'll help you get as big as you want. I, uh, yeah. I'll do it right now. I'll take your contact and Are you recording on that thing? I am, yeah, yeah. This is meant to be interaction. We don't have to be. Just take my photo. I got you, but don't pose. I don't even have to <laughs> Just smoke your cigarette, honestly. Yeah, I, can. I, can I, I do candid photography. My favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. It's always nice coming out here on the streets. I oftentimes find myself meeting new people with each day that I come out here. And on that note, I'd love to end the video off right here. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey man, nice car, man. Yeah, beautiful day. <laughs> well, see you guys. Cheers.